Welcome to the channel everyone, I'm Scratch, this is another Raid Shadow Legends video, we have the new Fusion Calendar live guys, we're gonna make a quick breakdown and we're gonna have a quick look at all of the events that started already, now I just wanna tell you from the very beginning, do not farm the Fire Knight today, wait till tomorrow when the uh, Dungeon Diver event starts as well. So you may notice the Soul Chase Tournament comes to an end, it's not related to the Fusion whatsoever. And we will have a Champion Chase Tournament. This was kind of like a big question mark. We weren't sure if we're going to get a Champion Chase, we're going to get a Summon Rush, because they kind of like mixed up the entire uh, the entire summoning schedule, right, with the 2x Primals last, uh, uh, last weekend. So that's what we're uh, going to have tomorrow, guys. Then... Right here, we have the Fusion warm-up event coming to an end, the Artifact Enhancement not related to the Fusion coming to an end, and the Dungeon Divers starting tomorrow. The points that we can see so far, at least from the Fire Knight tournament, is just the standard 2,250 points. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a bit crazier than the usual Fusion, hopefully. In the Champion Training tournament, very standard as well all the way up to like 6,000 points, sometimes 7,000, so uh, the Fragments right here are pretty spot on, I would say, with the amount of points required to, to get them. But having a quick look at the Fusion calendar right here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Fire Knight tournament. Let me just actually quickly try to uh, get this out of here so I can edit it a bit, because uh, like this, I don't have any, any power to, to edit what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to bring in the snipping, snipping tool power. We're going to get a total of 130 fragments. You can't really see that because it's behind my big head, but you can see it right here. And uh, 55 from tournaments, 55 from events, 20 from the tournament leaderboards, which I'm not even taking in consideration. You need to win either the champion training tournament, in either the champion chase tournament in order to get that. And honestly, it's not uh, very easy to do them unless you have a very easy bracket. So far, it seems like we have two summoning events. It doesn't seem like it's crazier than the regular fusion. We have uh, three Dungeon Divers, we have three Artifact Enhancement events. Those seem to be usually the hardest ones, you know, to, to complete. They do require uh, quite a bit of energy, they do require quite a bit of silver, and that might um, hold you back, of course. Uh, the summoning events are still a bit of an issue for people that are not uh, being prepared with uh, with summons in, in, in general, you know. There we go, I can actually add it now, so let's, let's crack on it. Fire Tournament, Champion Training Tournament, don't start it today do it tomorrow. I mean, the champion training tournament can start today if you're planning to just uh, rank up and level up in the in the tavern. If you're planning to farm campaign, wait till tomorrow so you're getting points for the dungeon diver as well. Same for the fire knight tournament, wait till tomorrow so you're getting points for the dungeon diver as well. This is just to maximize your rewards. Now, you need approximately 2.5 to 3k energy per a tournament, guys. I'm gonna put 3k, we're gonna uh, up it up a bit and uh, kind of like to give you give you an idea for the champion training tournament is usually pretty hard to kind of like uh, uh, anticipate what sort of energy you need based on what uh, champions you're leveling up if you're ranking any champions but again two three k energy champion chase tournament I'm not sure if it's gonna be more than three thousand points for all of the fragments you're getting fifteen from there so we're gonna have probably five and ten now you can skip ten fragments okay. Uh, you cannot skip uh, any of the summoning events. You can skip partially a part of them. Usually, the Champion Chase Tournament and the Summon Rush, they have basically two different milestones that will reward you with fragments. 5, 10, 5, 10. So you could potentially skip 10 out of one of them, but I would probably suggest you to try and don't skip nothing from the very beginning because you don't know how much harder it will get down, uh, down the line. If you are going for the Fusion, of course. If you're not, you don't really need to, to worry about it. But basically, that's what you can uh, expect uh, more or less from, uh, from here. So probably you will need to have 40, 50 Ancients, maybe more than that, in order to complete this one. The good part is that we have uh, two acts on Ancients tomorrow. We have uh, some amazing 15 uh, acts champions, you know. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good time to summon. Two acts with a 15 x progressive on amazing champions is a win-win. It's probably one of the best summoning events in the game out of the guaranteed where you know exactly what uh, what you're getting. Classic arena takedown, super easy to complete. Now there is one trick right here. You have the spider tournament starting on uh, Sunday, sorry, on Sunday, April the 7th. And uh, you have the second dungeon divers starting on Monday, which is this one right here. 
Now, if you are doing the spider tournament to be part of the very first dungeon divers, that will really leave you uncovered for the second dungeon divers. This gives you five points. So the main thing is the following. If you can collect all of the fragments from the summoning events, you can skip this second dungeon diver right here. If you cannot, it's going to be a bit harder to do it because you're going to have to either pair the spider tournament with it and uh, wait till Monday. So don't farm anything on Sunday. And from the Fire Knight, the champion training tournament, uh, you're going to have to hope that you're going to complete this one with the two events only without actually taking a, a third event in. Because then right here, you have the dragon tournament starting on the tent on Wednesday. So you have basically two tournaments for these second dungeon divers, which will be pretty decent. But I feel like the most uh, the most resource consuming event is the dungeon diver, you know, so uh, you have the potential to skip this one if you have enough shards to summon in both. Keep in mind the summon rush, uh, you should keep the secrets for it is still over one week away. OK, so you have quite a bit of time to uh, stack up a few more shards uh, for the for the summon rush right here, probably the equivalent of uh, eight sacreds at maximum. I would say it's like 3,000, 3,500 points. That's uh, the average for the last uh, the last few fusion, which is pretty good. But I'm going to put eight just in case. So you are mentally prepared in case if they're planning to, to change anything. But I would personally skip this one right here. And then what you could do is wait with the actually no you cannot wait with the dragon because it's gonna end when this is going to start so you cannot you cannot uh overlap them but you're gonna have to basically farm the dragon alone without the dungeon divers and then for the third dungeon divers event you're going to be left with a champion training tournament you're gonna be left with the ice golem tournament right here which is not bad either so you're gonna have uh you're gonna have what to farm for this uh third dungeon divers event Again, you will need around 3k energy for each one of these events, guys. And that's approximate, you know, depending on what, uh, approximately, depending on what stage you are farming. Uh, stage 20 is the most efficient one uh, to farm uh, the gear because it's only 16 energy per run. And uh, the drop rates are not as good as on the high stages, but it's not uh, like an, an insane difference. So uh, you are getting a bit, of, a bit of a better value from, uh, from there. Artifact enhancement events. Easy 15 to 20 million silver per event, guys. Of course, you don't have to have all that prepared. You're going to be able to just get some, of course, from farming campaign, farming all of these dungeons during the events. So you're going to be able to pile up some silver, especially when you're farming spider and, uh, and the rest. But that's pretty much what you have in terms of... Uh, in terms of events, you have two more classic arena takedowns, which uh, one more classic arena takedown, sorry, which honestly are the easiest ones. I wish they would make three arena takedowns instead of three dungeon divers. That would be amazing. Or three arena instead of three artifact enhancement events, because the rewards in the arena tournaments suck. Okay, the only reason you do them, you do them for the fusion, but the rewards are utterly trash. So at least, at least, make make it a bit easier for people to get the fragments make three events for arena you're not rewarding anything from there except the fragments that's of value you know so uh would be nice if uh they would uh they would do something uh like that champion training tournament guys this will be pretty complex as well it usually takes you all the way up to like eight thousand points to get the fragments and uh, again you do need two to three k energy based on uh what uh, champions you're ranking, leveling up, etc. It's pretty really hard to kind of like anticipate that. But we have four, uh, four tournaments, which is approximately 12k energy. Then you have, of course, uh, uh, the champion training event, the champion training tournament. Let's just say another 6k energy. So this already takes you like 18k. I'm not taking in consideration the fact that you need to go and do the dungeon divers events you will probably have to use even more energy to get to the 3000 4000 points in order to collect the fragments which will add more energy on top of this 18000 the good thing is if you have some gems saved up as well you're going to be able to easily procure uh, acquire the energy sorry and um, get the, the job done now you will get around what 800 to 1000 energy per day if you have it in the clan shop if you're getting it from the tech team arena uh, so if you're 
basically getting everything during uh, during the week it kind of like uh, splits around at 800 to 1000 per day doing the doom tower hard mode doing the cursed series etc you know so the amount of energy that you're getting is fairly fairly decent so you don't have to have 20k energy saved uh, saved up you know silver you're gonna need probably around 45 million plus in order to get it uh, done uh gems let's just say you need around one one to two k gems saved up you might want to use some for uh for uh, shards as well so and you will need more for the ancient shards of course and uh, you will need the equivalent of around six to eight sacreds in terms of points for the summon rush for the champion chase tournament uh fortunately is uh much better for us because you can always go and uh if you use a broad map, use a rally keeper. If you have some of them saved up, you know, if you have a army of uh, of champions, you're gonna be able to to get this uh, this done and uh, get some points from here. It's actually the best uh, the best way to do it. You might have, of course, a champion right here that you can uh, summon. And by the way, it's crazy mod, right? So I have 59 fragments for her, and these are my last chests that I can open. And I've been playing since day one. I collected tons of fragments. I skipped. Uh, fusions where I needed 10 or 15 more fragments in order to collect them, legendary ones, and I'm still only here, okay? Of course, I'm not going to burn the, the, other, the other characters that I have here to turn them into fragments for uh, her, but it just shows how hard and how RNG is to, to get her. Probably it's gonna take me quite a bit of time now to get her myself, which is something that I was not expecting guys that was all for this video hopefully you found it helpful if you did smash a like subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you all in the next video peace